Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, we're not going to say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening because we don't know when you are going to be viewing this graduation meeting tape. We decided to make a video of just Mr. Gary and myself presenting this material so that you did not have to organize your day around a certain time to meet with us because we want you to have this information and it's important. Um, I believe by this time, four years into being a student and part of the New York family, you know that you can reach out to us with any questions and any emails um, to clarify any points that we're going to discuss tonight. But we figured it's better for you to have this recording in your hand so you can go back and maybe you missed something and, um, you know, replay it and hear it again. So um, Mr. Gary's going to start and I'm going to do my usual jump in and add some um, details as we go along. And um, we really can't wait to see you. It's been a really difficult year. Our students have been oh, resilient beyond belief and um, we're looking to celebrate them in a big way. So um, Mr. Gary, why don't you take over? Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Um, so the first thing uh, that we are gonna discuss is rehearsal and distribution. So rehearsal and distribution will be based on SLC. Each SLC has a specific day and time that they are um, going to meet for rehearsal. And this is the day that they'll get all their graduation items. So June, uh, Tuesday, June 22nd, we have Health Science, Forensics, AFADA, and Horizon, and MSI. And then Wednesday, June 23rd, we have Law, AEL, Corporate, and ACMA. And uh, all students will report to the football field for rehearsal. And we really appreciate that you really be on time for your section. And please try not to come early because we are still trying to manage with social distancing and we want to um, be able to give our full attention to the group that's there at the time they're there, let them get their caps and gowns, let them pick up their senior um, items and um, move on to the ice cream trucks, right? Yes. <laughs> Um, so students will not be able to pick up their graduation items without completing their post-secondary plan. Please complete immediately. So if you haven't done so already, we will provide this link for you. Um, please check your pupil path emails. It's also going to be on our website under the senior class of 2021 um, section under the student life tab. So please, you will not be able to pick up your, your cap and gown, your stole, your graduation tickets without completing your post-secondary plan. It's very important that we get these in. We need um, this from every graduating senior. Okay, so the things that you are going to pick up at distribution. So students will receive their cap and gown, their SLC stole, two graduation tickets, and we'll um, go into tickets in the, in the next slide. Uh, the yearbook, if you purchased one, uh, the yearbook was a separate cost, $125. If you would still like one, you could visit our website, www.newdorphs.org, and in, under the Student Life tab, under the academic store, you could purchase your yearbooks. It's $125. Um, tickets, uh, a ticket for the ice cream truck if you paid your senior dues, and then the NHS stole if they are in NHS. Um, students can pick up, if they haven't done so already, their sweat outfit and mask if you paid your senior dues, um, your magnet, your grit and perseverance shirt, your lawn sign, and your SLC swag if you haven't picked these up already. Um, and if you still need to pay, pay your senior dues, which will cover your sweat outfit, mask, and ice cream ticket, you can pay through our website, once again, www.newdorphs.org, under the Student Life tab, Academic Store. You scroll down, you'll see senior dues. It is $50, and you can pay it through our website. Um, please understand that this year, $50 is all we're asking. In the past, Ms. Gary, what has it been? 125 Right. So we kept it at 50 and the school budget is picking up all of the other items, including the cap and the gown, the stoles, the, the setup for graduation and the stage, which is always part of the senior dues. Yes. Um, so if you haven't picked up those items, you could do it during that time and then you will receive your all the graduation items. So it's very important that you guys make it to rehearsal and distribution because you're going to receive a lot of information and you'll receive um, your items for the ceremony. 
Okay, so graduation. Now let's move on to graduation. So you must report 30 minutes prior to the start of your ceremony. Please don't report uh, anytime sooner because we're gonna have ceremonies going on um, and we wanna make sure that we could get the ceremony before yours out so that you guys can come in. Um, so two important pieces of information, well, three important pieces of information, your parking lot, the report time and the ceremony start time. So on Thursday, June 24th, we have a health science. Their ceremony starts at 9 a.m. They must report by 8.30 and they are parking in the New York lot. Forensics is June 24th, ceremony start time 11 a.m., report time 10.30 a.m., Miller Field parking lot. Afada and Horizon, June 24th, 1 p.m. ceremony start time, 12.30 report time, and you're reporting at the New York lot. And then MSI is the last ceremony of June 24th. The ceremony starts at 3 p.m. You must report by 2.30 p.m. and you will park in the Miller Fields lot. Now the next day, June 25th, we have law. Their ceremony starts at 9 a.m. They must report at 8.30 and they're gonna park in the New York lot. AEL, um, their ceremony starts at 11 a.m. They must report by 10.30 at the Miller Field lot. Corporate is ceremony start time 1 p.m. Report time 12.30 and you must park at the New York lot. And then lastly, we have ACMA, um, 3 p.m. start time, 2.30 report time, and you will park at the Miller Fields lot. Now, let me just explain a little bit as to why we're doing that. So in order for us to complete the ceremonies, get the students out, clean the chairs in a two hour period, we needed to switch um, everybody coming and going into the two lots. So that's why we did it that way. Um, the other pieces that I think after uh, a 17, 15 months that we've had to endure, you want to see your children march in. And, you know, we, not all the schools are doing it. Um, a matter of fact, most are not. And we really believe strongly that we want our students to march in. We want our parents to see them march in. I tear up every year, this year probably more than ever, because I'm experiencing a 2021 graduate with you. And my I've been a big mush for two weeks now. Um, so that that's the reason we're going back and forth. We need to organize the students so that they can march in. We need to get you situated in the parking lot and then get you to your seats safely and distanced from other people. Um, so we just need you to really stay on time. We can't have people showing up 15, 20 minutes into the ceremony because it ruins it for your child. It ruins it for yourself. And we don't want that to happen. Okay. Okay. So graduation attire under the gown. So um, you can wear either slacks, dress pants, or khakis with a dress sh shirt, your choice of tie or no tie, a polo, absolutely no shorts, please. Um, if you'd like, you can wear a dress. Um, and then we ask dress shoes, be careful with heels um, because we are on a turf field. You don't want to sink to the ground and they will be marching in and walking across stage. So just make sure if you choose to wear heels, um, you're comfortable in them and you're able to walk. Um, and then absolutely no sneakers. Um, this is an important occasion and we would like for everyone to be dressed appropriately. Um, you may decorate your cap. We encourage you to decorate your cap. All caps will be checked uh, for any foul or inappropriate language or designs. So if you would, you know, please be careful when you're designing it. Make sure that it's appropriate um, so that you can display your, your design at graduation. We love to see the designs, but we have a whole bunch of extra hats. And if it is inappropriate, if there are words that should not be there, we do change it out and you don't get to wear it, sorry. Okay, so all graduating seniors, once you report at your um, report time, um, you guys will uh, make your way to the North Gym for check-in. So uh, once you get to the school, you're gonna report to the North Gym, you're gonna check in, and then we, we will have staff members line you up for your grand entrance. So staff will, uh, line up students for their grand entrance. Uh, parents will enter through the east entrance near the Miller lot or the north entrance near the old shop right side based on their last name. We will let you know closer to graduation, um, more info to follow on the next slide. So um, very importantly, students will um, are gonna be seated 
based on their their last name. So we want to make sure that you're close to your child. So you'll either um, enter, and if you look at the um, design to the to the right, um, you have the north entrance the center entrance where the students will make their grand entrance and then the east uh, the east entrance. Right, so the north entrance is near the light blue doors and the east entrance is near the orange doors when you're standing outside. And we're, we're really trying to have you right behind your own students. Just to give you a little bit better visualization, obviously this picture was taken at a graduation pre-COVID, um, uh, so as you could tell, we have the east side and we have the north side. So if your child is sitting on the north side, we would like you to sit on the north side. So you would be on the same side as your child. And then same thing with the east side. So students will be seated on either the east side or the north north side based on their last name. Families will also be seated on the side where their child is located. We are going to divide students equal, equally. So please check your pupil path email the week of, graduate, uh, of graduation to know which side uh, you will be sitting. Okay. Right, we won't give you just a general A to L on this side and M to Z right now because each SLC is going to be a little different. Um, and when we uh, verify graduation status, the numbers will shift and we're trying, you know, visually, we want it to look nice because it's being live streamed and um, we want it to be even. Yes. So we will have those numbers the um, early part of the week. So please check your pupil path email so that you know what side you're sitting on. And the and then there will also be signs so that you're not, um, you know, you're not confused the day of um, to just help clarify everything. Okay. Uh, one of the biggest questions I've been receiving, um, I need an extra ticket. So uh, luckily the way that we worked everything out, we are able to squeeze one extra ticket per graduating student um, so we will have a will call um, booth set up. It will be located um, by the east gym doors. So as you could see in the picture to the right, you have the east parent entrance um, where it says will call booth. That's the side where the school is. The gym doors, the east gym doors are located where it says uh, will call booth. We'll have a table set up where we can give out one ticket per family or per graduating student. So we'll be giving out one ticket per uh, family at the Will Call booth lo located by the East Gym doors. You can receive one extra ticket per graduating student, totaling three guests. Okay, we cannot exceed because of the numbers that we were given. Um, we have to follow this protocol. So, like I said, we cannot right. have any extras. Um, and there's there could be no exceptions. We're, we need to follow the rules. Um, we're doing the best that we can. We're able to squeeze out one ticket. We, of course, would love to give it to you. Um, and just so you all know that this uh, that the ceremonies will be live streamed. So if someone cannot make it, um, please encourage them to, to watch and I'll have more information on the next slide about our live stream and where to access it. And, and, let me, and let me just add to this. So understand that we're doing eight graduations. That's a lot on two hot days. But we're doing that so that we can have guests. There are schools throughout the five boroughs that are not allowing any guests or they're allowing one guest, we're squeezing out three guests. But to be honest with you, if you know of a family that's only using their two tickets, have them pick up their third ticket and give it to you. Like, you know, we're not telling you we will give it to you because we can't. We're only giving one per student per, you know, for that family. But, you know, as a parent, again, of a 2021, we were given two, two tickets. I was pretty happy with two because if I had three, I would have had to make a decision on who that third person would be and there'd be chaos in my family. So I was kind of happy with two. We went, we were there. But again, if you want to work it out in your little um, groups of friends, we don't, we can't know about it, but just saying, you know, I talk like Miss DeAngelis would talk. <laughs> exactly. And, and the reason we're doing eight is so we can give you three tickets. Yes. You know, if, if we combine the wings and we did four instead of eight, we would have more students, but you would have less flexibility in who can come to, the, you know, we had a number we had to stay under. Mm -hmm. And like we said before, so our graduation ceremonies will be live streamed. So each ceremony will be live streamed and the link will be featured on our website 15 minutes prior to the start of the ceremony. Once again, our website is www.newdorphs.org. 
Um, and in addition, all eight ceremonies will be recorded separately and sent out at a later date. Um, so we do have a film company coming in to film each graduation and then um, each student will receive um, uh, a recording of their graduation. So free of uh, charge, unlike, yeah. unlike our graduation, my graduation or my son, we had to pay for it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, this is our it's gift free. to you. Yes. It's free, just like uh, being exempt from finals for the senior. Yes, <laughs> another it's gift. Our gift. It's our gift. <laughs> um, all right, so COVID guidelines. So I'm happy to report that um, the only thing that we require is going to be our health screening for, for entry. So it's the same health screening that the students and staff um, or anyone uh, entering the building um, they take to uh, come in. It's a few questions you answer, you hit submit, and then you will get an email saying that you are approved to come in. Um, we will have um, posters lined up outside the, the gates of our football fields where you could scan the QR code and the health screening will pop up. You could also visit our website. I know I've been plugging our website. It's just so beautiful. It has everything on it. Um, but you could visit our website. It's one of the first things that, first things that pop up. You just type in guest and you put in your email information and the questions will pop up. And if you want to do it at home and you don't go on the website, you can just Google New York City um, health screening and it pops up on your phone. Fill it out. It's it's actually three questions if you've been vaccinated. It's a few more if you're not vaccinated. Um, but there'll be no proof of vaccination. There'll be no proof of a negative test. Let's say that again. Nobody has to go take a COVID test and nobody has to prove whether or not they've had the vaccine. You're just gonna fill out a screener and you're going to wear a face mask and you're gonna be distant from others. If we follow those three rules, we're good, we're good. We'll control the movement for you, okay? Yes, and um, we also encourage students to uh, wear their Newdorp uh, senior mask um, yeah, for graduation. Great. Uh, so when they walk across stage, it will it looks nice in uniforms. Uh, if they have an SLC mask, they could wear that as well. Um, you know, we gave out a few masks this year. So um, if you have it, wear it for graduation. It'll look very nice. Okay, end of ceremony. So students will be instructed to proceed to their vehicles at the end of the ceremony. Once students exit, so you'll be able to watch your, your child exit. Um, the families will be instructed to exit and head to their vehicles. So we ask all students and their families to quickly exit their assigned lot once the ceremony is over so we can make way for the next ceremony. So um, just to avoid traffic jams, uh, the students are going to go first. They're going to go straight to their cars. Then we would like um, the parents and families to um, proceed to their vehicles and then for everyone to exit out their lot. And we do encourage you to take pictures down um, Miller Field near the beach. Um, we just can't have any pictures really on premise just because um, we need to make way for the next ceremony. Right, and if you go down Newdorp Lane, make a left into Miller Field parking lot there, you'll have access to the boardwalk, the beach, um, as well as Miller Field. You could take some pictures there. If you take your masks off there, as long as you're off DOE property, that's your business. Um, and you can take pictures there. It's really nice. The students from the 2020 class last year, um, they did that and, you know, was much stricter guidelines last year. You know that they didn't get out of their cars the whole ceremony. Mm -hmm. Uh, and lastly, diploma pickup. So Monday, June 28th is diploma distribution in Cafe. A. Um, the schedule will go as followed. So 10 to 11 a.m. We have health, forensic, Safada, Horizon, and MSI. And then uh, from 11 to 12 p.m. we have law, AEL, corporate, and ACMA. All technology must be returned and book accounts cleared in order to receive your diploma. So if you have any devices, you must um, submit it prior to um, to the state or on the state. Um, and let me just say something there, Jake. Yes. Um, so if you have a laptop or you've borrowed a laptop or you have a DOE issued iPad, that has to be returned before you get your diploma. That is something that the DOE is really pushing on. Now, if you have a child who's coming into school and you thought you were just going to, you know, send it that way, we can't do it. We're going to have a separate distribution for incoming students over the summer when they get their ID cards and they have a chance 
to purchase some of their um, nude up wear. Um, we just can't transfer it that way. We have to collect it back. We have to inventory it. And then there'll be a separate day where all incoming freshmen will be given their own devices. Um, and just lastly, no dupli duplicate diplomas uh, can be issued. Please make sure that your diploma is safeguarded from the moment you receive it. If you're an, uh, unable to pick up your diploma in person, we will release it to the parent or guardian as indicated on ATS with a photo ID. And diplomas will also be available for pickup during regular summer school hours beginning on June 6th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And can I just add, for those of you who experienced Hurricane Sandy, as many of us did, um, there were many people who lost their diplomas in, in the storm, you know, and they came and they asked us for a new diploma. Under no circumstances by the state ed department are we allowed to reissue a diploma. So really keep it somewhere safe. And if you need something, we can give you a letter in the future that says you met all requirements for graduation and you're a member of the class of 2021. Um, and we put a raised seal on it, but we can never give you that diploma again. Okay, so understand that. Um, and that's it for our meeting. Um, if anyone has any additional questions, you could always feel free to, to email uh, me and I will get back to you. And we're just really hoping that all our students show up who have met graduation requirements. This is a special day. We don't want them to be upset that they missed it. We are doing one ceremony at a time to keep the numbers down so that everyone could be safe. I just think it's an important day. I think even the students who don't want to come, they really should come. Encourage them to come. I think it would be worth it. Um, we are having students walk across the stage. That is one non-negotiable for me. I believe every child and every family deserves to have that child walk across the stage, especially after these four years. So please be here, please. Thank you. And one last thing, if they have work to make up for their classes because they're right on the line of maybe not passing, they still have time. They have from now until the day before graduation to try to get those grades um, reversed if they failed. So keep on working if you're struggling through some of those courses, please. And those of you who are online with my courses, keep on working. 24 hours, let's go. All right, see you all at graduation. All right, see you at graduation or at rehearsal. <laughs>